So I'm gonna show you a pan seared chicken breast with rice pilaf, sauteed baby green beans, and a chicken gravy. You are going to be making rice pilaf, which is a situation where you never stir the rice. I'm going to dice the shallot very finely. So we're gonna sweat some shallots to get a nice little flavor base in there. All right, that was a huge shallot, so I think about half is gonna be fine for right now. So I coat my pan, a decent coating of olive oil on the bottom, my shallots right in there, and I'm going to sweat them, no color. All right, rice pilaf working, a little salt in there. All right, so I have these little baby string beans. This little hair on the end, we keep on because it's cute. So my water for that, salty, like the ocean, and I'm salting my shocking water. So I've got to wait till my water is boiling here, and then I'm just gonna blanch and shock my green beans. All right, so look at what we've got. Sweaty, very aromatic, but no color. So, one cup of rice. We're gonna toast the rice a little bit. Oh, and look, in the meantime, is my water boiling? What can I do? See, look at me, multitasking. So I have some really nice thick chicken stock here. This chicken stock was made with chicken feet. Okay. And it has lots and lots of flavor. As soon as you heat up that chicken stock, the wobbly factor goes away, all right? So, we're gonna bring this up to a boil. All right, my green beans, so we shock them. Now, this sets the green texture and it stops the cooking process immediately. It still has a nice crunch to it, but not crunchy raw. Once they're cold, take them out of the water so they don't just get soggy. Okay, there we go. So let's talk chicken. We have these chicken breasts. This is what's called an airline chicken breast and it just means that it is a chicken breast that still has this little wing bone attached. What you wanna do is you want to take a paper towel and really dry off the skin. Because the drier the skin is, the better it will brown and the more crispy crackling it will be. We love that. Your pan needs to be really nice and hot. Now, I'm resisting the urge also to salt these until the second before I put them in the pan because salt starts to pull the moisture out of stuff. We've just dried these guys off, so if I put the salt on it right now, it's gonna start to pull the moisture out of the skin. Now look at my liquid here has come to a boil. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to put a lid on it. So, nice even seasoning from up high. All right, we put the skin side down first. So this guy we can pull off. It's the chicken tenderloin. So chicken tenders. We've got a lot going on here, but I've turned my burner down a little bit. I don't want my pan to burn up because I'm going to make my sauce in here. These are huge. We've got a long way to go on these. So the more that we can leave them in the pan like this, the more brown food we are going to accomplish and the crispier the skin will be. So I'm gonna make a little herb paste out of rosemary, garlic, and lemon. And before we put them in the oven, we're gonna slather our chickens with that. Let's just take a little look-see where we are with everything. Oh, that is looking good, right? Nice brown food is happening. So we're just gonna smash and finally chop the garlic. Two nice big sprigs of rosemary. My rosemary is really finely chopped here juice and zest of two lemons. We're gonna cook our chicken to 160 degrees. We're gonna let it rest, but salmonella dies at 165 degrees. <gasps> it continues to cook. Bad. Right, to let your chicken do that carryover cooking for a few minutes, so it will gently take it over the safe mark. All right, so there we go. Plenty of olive oil in there, all right, and a little bit of salt. A little pinch of crushed red pepper. All right, so let's just take the temperature of our birds and see where we are at. So we think about like how long do these have to go in the oven for? I'm at about 130 degrees. They're gonna need to go in the oven for at least 10 to 12. So mix this guy up and paint it on there ever so nicely. Yes, lather that on there. Get it all nice mixed up so we get all the parts.
My rice is done, so don't stir it because that will make it stick all together and get really like broken and sticky. All right, so we're gonna use this grease to make our gravy. Two tablespoons of flour right in there. All right, we're gonna let that cook together a little bit more until we see it nice and bubbling up. See what we've got going on here? It's got a nice brownness. You can kind of almost smell a little nuttiness happening there. So now I'm gonna put chicken stock right in there. We are moving right along, coming down the home stretch, guys. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? See where I'm taking the temperature in the thickest part of the breast. So I'm at 165. Oh. Perfect. Come here and take a little look-see at what's happening. See, that looks like gravy, doesn't it? It's really nice and getting thick. All right. So, my very last thing, my green beans. All right, a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm breaking these apart a little bit, but I'm leaving them mostly whole. Olive oil and the garlic in. A few sprinky dinks of crushed red pepper. I am heating up the pan with my oil and my garlic in it together because what happens is then the garlic goodness goes in that oil, it perfumes the oil, so we get a, like, a lovely little essence of garlic. So when my garlic gets golden and very aromatic, we take it out and thank you for coming. It's fulfilled its garlic destiny. So you wanna make sure, you guys, that most of the water is out because you're putting it in oil. It will splatter at you, okay? Ooh. You just wanna warm them up. Get them a little sticky dick of salt. So now, I just want to think of a uh, little garnisher. And remember how we do chives? Feeny, 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 feeny. All right, let's plate. But see how my rice looks all nice and fluffy and they're whole pieces. My green beans, you can lay them a little bit on top of your rice. We're gonna slice our chicken breast. I'm starting towards the wing end, sawing. Look at perfect. We don't wanna break that skin. Transfer everybody right over there. Look at how juicy that is, right? You don't wanna sauce on your chicken because we wanna show off the big money item, how nicely we did that chicken. And then, nice little chivey green goodness. Okay, are you guys ready to try them? Yep. Yes. 